And I'm not saying I know everything, but I, I think that that's definitely the, the biggest challenge that I have is, is outside people not wanting to talk to me or just not giving me all of the information because they don't think I'm gonna understand it. The benefits, of course, sometimes people are nicer to women. <laughs> with over the road breakdown, because you're dealing with things that are happening all over the country, the best way to prioritize and manage is to manage my email inbox. <laughs> Most of the requests are coming through email, invoices are coming through email, a lot of updates are coming through email. It's a really silly, simple thing, but managing your inbox, my email personally, is the key to success. <laughs> Uh, my name is Amber Manella. I'm a fleet maintenance coordinator here at GP Transco. Having to reformulate a plan that I've already made uh, is probably the most aggravating, which of course is gonna happen. You can never avoid situations like that, but there's a lot of things that happen that I can't control. So when something happens, a truck or a trailer gets a flat tire, somebody gets stuck, whatever it might be, a defect gets reported from a pre-trip or a post-trip inspection, my job is to jump on that and basically handle the breakdown. Do we need to send a road service? Can we take it to a shop? Determining next steps of action and working with the operation team to get the breakdown handled in the most efficient way possible for the company. My work style is in correlation with the way that I handle things outside of work as well. I think a lot of it's a personality thing, but it's also just you get used to doing something. I mean, you're here for at least half your day, right? So it translates. My job before starting here was a service advisor at a car dealership. I did that for about 10 years. I worked at a couple of different dealers in Naperville. And then actually one of the people that I met while I was at the dealership was Mason, our service advisor here. He was a service advisor at the dealership and so was I. So when I was looking to get out of the dealership world, I saw that he had said that GP Transco was hiring. So. Here I am. I think that being a woman in a male-dominated industry presents its own challenges and sometimes benefits. The, the car dealership was the same way, so I'm pretty used to dealing with any of the challenges that come from it. It's less with the employees that I work with, like my coworkers are great, and more so vendors. Calling repair shops, a lot of times people just assume I don't know what I'm talking about. I think that the way to overcome that challenge is really just persistence. You just gotta continue to look, continue to call, continue to stay on top of vendors and make sure that things are progressing in a way that we wanna see them progressing and not just sitting idle and, and waiting for things to happen. The biggest challenge is breakdowns in areas where service is few and far between. So a lot of areas where there's not readily available service shops, if there's a breakdown where the driver can't move, finding somebody to go to them in a timely fashion is always a challenge. And then just working with the shops to make sure that we're repairing our equipment efficiently and not in a way that's gonna hold the driver up even longer than they have to be. The most rewarding part of my job is when I'm able to get a driver back on the road in an efficient manner or in a manner that doesn't even interrupt their their route, their day-to-day, -day, their, their day in general. I like when things come together and they work and it gets fixed and they're back on the road. I think that the goal would really just to be making sure that all of the processes that we have in place work as they're supposed to, what they're designed to do, and that the process that we have in place is the most efficient one. If something needs to be tweaked, actually being able to do that. All the members of my team have a really good rapport with each other between the over the road maintenance team and the, the team in the shop, just working together to get things handled. I think it's, it's a great flow. All of the maintenance staff is very hands-on. I think it, it's, you almost have to be because you're responding directly to things that are happening in real time Sometimes situations are more complicated, and in those cases, it's, it's nice to be recognized that we are doing everything that we can to get them on the road quickly and safely. It's very smooth. The transition on my team is, is super smooth. It's, it's easy for one of us to jump in in the middle of a situation and help the other one out. I think that everybody works really well together. I think that everybody's really friendly and like I said, approachable even at an executive level. I think it's a really unique thing to GP Transco. I still see myself here. I'm, I'm very happy 
with what I do, my coworkers. I like it here. I don't plan on leaving. 